Hey guys, this is your Tesla Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about upcoming potential tropical storm or Hurricane Danny, and a potential for a tropical depression to form off the coast of the southeast. Before I go into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. We'll start off with a disturbance off the coast of the southeast. It currently has a 20% chance of formation through 5 days and 48 hours. Significant development of the system is not expected because of unfavorable conditions. However, it could briefly sustain tropical depression status as it makes impacts along the southeast coast. But the main system in question is here, with a 30% chance of formation through 5 days and a 20 through 48 hours. Slow development of the system is expected as it slowly moves eastward towards the Caribbean islands. Now let's get right into the models. These are all the potential paths for Invest 95L, which is that system just east of the Caribbean islands moving west. And you can see all these models shown here kind of agree generally to go south towards southern Puerto Rico or just south of Puerto Rico. While the National Hurricane Center does have it turning to the northeast, these models have it turning towards the south. This is intensity guidance for Invest 95L, and you can see all models, or most of them really, having it become a tropical storm. It will most likely become a tropical storm unless something happens in the atmosphere. But currently, it is probably going to become a tropical storm at some point. And two models have it reaching low-end hurricane Category 1 status. These are current sea temperatures in the tropical Atlantic right now, and you can see they're somewhat warm over here with 26 to 27 degrees Celsius. And just south of Puerto Rico, if it takes a southerly track, it is going to enter slightly warmer waters of 28 to 29 degrees Celsius, and it looks like there's even warmer waters farther west towards um, Cuba, the area of Cuba. However, if it does take a northeasterly turn, it will pose less threat to land. And while the waters are still somewhat warm with 28 degrees Celsius, it will likely turn away from land if it goes that way. So, the point is here, if the system takes a southerly track south of Puerto Rico or into Puerto Rico, if that happens, there will be a higher threat to land from the system. However, if it takes a northeasterly turn, there will be less threat to land. That's just a weather forecast for upcoming potential Hurricane Danny. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.